Hello students, welcome to my channel study hall. Today I will start the second part of mensurations of class 8 that is the surface area and volume of cuboid and cube. So, I am sorry for not releasing any video uh, between 2 or 3 days because I was engaged in my personal work and also the uh, teachers day also observed. So, my dear students, thank you very much. You have observed the teachers day in pomp and excited manner. I also try to attach some clips of my teachers day video along with this video. Okay, let us start. this is the figure of cuboid and this is cube ok. The cuboid and cube, cuboid it is the space bounded by 6 faces is the cuboid. So, first let us know what is about the cuboid. A cuboid has it has 6 faces. This is a some examples of day to day life of cube wax you have seen in your day to day life that is the match box, okay, chalk box in your schools, this box, bricks, almeda, all are the examples of cuboids and dice, the styles of Ludo is a example of cube. So, let us uh, discuss about the some edges, faces, vertex, how many types, uh, what are the faces, uh, this is called face, these are also face, these are also faces, these are also faces, these are also faces, these are also faces, so, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 faces are there and which if this faces is the base. Okay. So, one faces is base, then lateral faces are what? 1, 2, 3, 4. At that time, the upper surface will not be under consideration. So, if, if this is the base, the one face is the base. So, 4 is the lateral face, this, 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 this. It will be very helpful to find out the lateral surface area. A total surface area means all, all these faces. So, how many vertex are there? So, what are the vertex? 12, now 8 or 6, 6 are the faces. Edges, edges is 12. To adjacent, this is the adjacent face, and this face, this face. To adjacent faces, pass the line. To adjacent faces, meet a line. This is known as edges ok. So, 12 edges 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 ok. So, 12 edges are there and vertex there are 8 vertex. The point of intersection ok, point of intersection what? Of 3 edges, these are the edges, these are the edges, point of intersection out here and these are the edges. This is point of intersection of the three edges, three edges, this, this and this. So, there are the eight vertex, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the eight vertex, 12 edges are six surfaces, ok. And what we learned in Easter classes, the dimension plane figure this is the two dimension, the two dimension that means length and breadth only given is two dimension. Here length, breadth and height is also given that is it is known as three dimension figure ok. The plane region and space region, space region and space occupied by the solid, the space occupied by the solid is known as the space region. So, in case of 
you have to find out the volume of this cube or cuboid, the area and volume. There is something different, the area, whatever you have learned in the plane figure. But out here volume, here is the magnitude of space region. The space region ka magnitude kidna hai. A space region, the magnitude of space region or measures of space occupied by the solid. That is the volume. Clear? So volume, of, um, we, we tell the volume of cube, volume of cuboid. Actual that is not. The volume of the cuboidal region. Actually volume of cuboidal region. But volume of cubical region. Okay, let's start to find out the how, uh, what is the area, surface area, total surface area, lateral surface area of cube and cuboid. Let's come. So, if you find out the total surface area of the cuboid, total surface area means this surface area that is the this length into breadth, then upper and lower surface area same. So, 2 into length into 2, uh, this and this same, the length into breadth the 2 into length into breadth. S same way, this length into height and in this case breadth into height. This area, this area same, this area, this area same, this area, this area same. So whatever be the area of this, all will be multiplied by 2. 2, the 2 into this plus this, okay, the this plus this by 2, 2 into this. 2 into this, 2 into this, that is what is the area, so the, the total surface area, the total surface area, total surface area TSA, TSA of cuboid, that is upper surface area, that is length into uh, this one, length into breadth, the length into breadth plus it is okay it is length into breadth and this is the breadth so it will be 2 so we have to come on 2 out here clears then breadth into height clear or length into height length into height plus breadth into height 2 into lb plus lh plus bh clear this breadth into height this into this two this into this total it is the total surface area and unit square unit square unit whatever be unit out there centimeter or meter or millimeter whatever be there with the dimension length breadth and height you have to convert in the same unit always remember that unit will be same suppose length will be given in meter breadth in millimeter that is in centimeter so you have to convert all this unit in a same unit then find out the total surface area okay so if you find out the lateral surface area lateral surface area. What will be the lateral surface area? So, lateral surface area means what I told ago, it, this is the base, the one of the face is the base out here. So, in that case surface, upper surface will not be calculated, will not be under consideration. So, lateral surface area that means this area, this area, this area, this area that is lateral surface area that is the length length into height breadth into height the 2 into so that means 2 into length into height plus breadth into height that means 2 into length plus breadth into height h common the 2 into length plus breadth into height it is the square unit here 
the lateral surface area of cuboid and total surface area of cuboid this is the square unit this this is also known as the area of four walls of a room in a room there are four walls the length of the walls breadth of the walls and height of the walls will be the room will be given in that case you have to, if you want to find out the area of the four walls area of the only four walls that is the formula also okay next come the in case of cuboid this is for sorry this is for cuboid next come cube in case of cube same thing just you change the l b h but in case of cubed what i have learned over there this is the l length okay this is breadth and this is the height but out here whatever be the length breadth and height will be equal l equals to b equals to h in case of cube all sides are equal so total surface area same point same thing out here 2 into lb lh bh here 2 into l into l plus l into l plus l into l that means l square l square l square 3 l square that means 6 l square that is 6 into side square square unit square unit 6 into side square total surface area of cube as its all sides are equal same thing lateral surface area lateral surface area same thing lower base upper surface will not be considered in that case what will happen 4 l square how same thing l into l 2 into l into l square plus l into l square 2 into 2 l square 4 l square that is the lateral surface area clear so given example then we have to come to the volume first see out here clear bachcho clear total surface area and lateral surface of cube and q okay so find in this way you have to mind this this is the formula and this is also the formula lateral surface area this is the lateral surface area this is the total surface area 6l square okay so remind it now if you find out the volume the areas of region bounded by the solid is known as the volume volume an area is a triple it is some difference area bounded by the solid figure region some space of region of solid figure in that case what will be the volume of this cuboid volume of cuboid length into breadth into height in this case will be cubic what is square unit a cubic unit if it is centimeter the centimeter cube or cubic centimeter cc or cubic meter that is meter cube whatever be the in a unit and in case of cube in case of cube it will be what l b h all are same that is the l into l into l l cube side cube that is side whatever be the given side that is the side cube cubic centimeter cubic meter okay the volume of cube and volume of cuboid a b c l b h if you volume if you want to increase the volume you have to increase the length or increase the breadth or increase the height 
if any one of the dimension is increased, volume will be increased. This all things. Suppose area of this volume of this box. How many pins are there? That will be maximum three pins are there. If you want to increase the volume, so if you increase the this is the length or height, the volume will be increased. Clear? Suppose this is this one, the height will be increased, the volume ha has been increased, length will be increased, the volume will be increased. Okay, in this way. Okay. So next come for an example. to find out the surface area, surface area of cuboid, cuboidical box whose length is 16 centimeter, breadth equals to 8 centimeter and height equals to 6 centimeter. You have to find out the total surface area. You have to paint a box whose length, breadth and height is given. Okay. In that case, you have to find out the total surface area. So, I apply the formula. then. In the total surface area, what is 2 into this, this into this, this into this, and this into this? Bus. And what, what we learn? L into B, that is this into this plus formula, just apply the formula, it will be answer. Okay. That is 2 into 16 into 8, into this, this, and breadth into height, 8 into 6, and length into height, plus 18 into 16 into 8, just apply. Bus. Nothing else, length into breadth, breadth into height plus length into height. Apply it, put the value, then answer will come. Suppose sometimes a volume Q whose volume is given, suppose 512 cubic meter. Okay. Find the surface area of the cube. First you have to find out the size, then surface area. The from the volume, what is the formula of volume? L cube by side cube, that is a cube, let the side be a or side be a, whatever length, breadth and height all are same, side be a, a cube equals to 512 a equals to what you have learned q root of 512 okay so what will be the answer if if it is not possible if easy it is also easy if it is given suppose 125 then first time giving sort which will be easy for you it is also easy, 125, 125, then it will be 125. Suppose I am giving. So, what will be the Q root of 125? 5. So, A equals to 5, side already find out, side find out then total surface area 6 into side square. So, so area say 6 into 6 into A square that is 6 into 5 square, 6 into 25 is the answer, 150 square unit. Okay. So, volume given, size also you can find out and also area, clear in this way the sums come. So, so many things also come, suppose a, a large box rectangular box whose length, breadth and height is given, his length given, breadth given and height also given. So, how many uh, short type of uh, cube vertical um, type of this type of pencil will be kept under this box inside the box. So, we have to find out the number. So, find out the volume of this box getter. You have to find out this volume because its length, breadth and height will be given. Its length, breadth, height of the volume. So, number of box, number of small box will be volume of box 
and volume of small box the greater box boroda you have to find out this volume that is volume of a box and volume of b box this is the b box this is the a box number of this box that is the number of small box quantity this volume by this volume in this way you can find out so many problems okay besides there are so many problems are there some problems may be given about suppose two or three keyword equal box are attached side by side two or three cubical box cubical keyword equal na cubical cube it is attached side by side okay and is side will be given or volume will be given anything to find the resultant cuboid find the resultant cuboid clear this is the cube if its volume is given if from the volume if i can find out the side the side will be given out there nikal gaya area will be nikal gaya then this side you are attached in this way that means this also this also this is 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 this for 6 6 and this is the 2 there is a, a and this will be a and this will be 3a so this resultant cuboid the length breadth and height easily got and you can easily find out the surface area volume whatever you want in this way next come so many problems are there to do, try to uh, practice from your books any problems are ya hum hai to hum to hai comment me on comment box any time whatever problems you have jot down your problems send me my comment box i'll solve ah uh, whatever books you can follow adi sharma are sagar all so many books are there okay Yeah, Ari and so many books are there, so you can follow all these books and do practice. And any problem, send me, and I will solve any things. Just I have discussed only the formula, how to apply the formula. No, okay. So next I will do about the cylinder, right circular cylinder. Okay. So before going to the circular cylinder, right circular cylinder. Now I will discuss about the right circular cylinder, whose uh, total surface area. Lateral surface area, but cut surface area, and also volume. Just give the concept. Just just get the idea. Idea and concept is very important for your lessons. If your idea is clear, concept is clear, any sums will be easy to for you. Just get the idea. How the formula come? Not required to do the sums just now. Do practice at home. Okay. The what I discussed in the earlier uh, cuboid and cube. in case of cuboid but cube the one thing also you have to remember that you have to find out the diagonals of the cuboidal structure cuboidal box diagonal diagonal formula right in case of root over diagonal of cuboidal box l square plus b square plus a k square eta mone rakhbe remember this diagonal diagonal equals this root over l square plus b square plus h square from there you have to find out some also volume also sides also surface area also diagonal will be given from this formula you have to find out this l square b square h square equals to something and then you have to find out l plus b plus c whatever so it is required to remember now come to the right circular cylinder right circular cylinder this is the shape of the right circular cylinder okay the so what you what you will see out here in this case see the base is the circular base this is the circular two circular top circular and right circular and this are this surface just parallel to each other and this is the curved surface area curved curved surface area 
and in the right circular, this circular base, this is a circular base, this is a circular top, this is the center, this is the center. If you join this to center, this center is known as the axis of the cylinder. This axis is also called the height of the cylinder. This is the height of the cylinder H. And this is, this is the in the distance between the two key center. This is the axis and also called the height. Circular base, circular base, curved surface. Okay. So, how it is formed? Suppose this is the rectangle, rectangular shape. This is length, this is breadth. If you fold it, try to fold. So, on. so this will this will happen. This type of shape, right circular cylinder, clear, right circular cylinder. This is the circular base, circular base. And this is the this point, this point actually this is the height. But what is the height? If we open, I open it, the height is the breadth, okay, the circular, the circle. This is the circle, circular, this, the 2 pi r. So this is 2 pi r, okay. This is 2 pi r, that is the length is the. 2 pi r out here, 2 pi r into h. So, curved surface it will be easy for you when I will write the formula out there. So, this is the 2 pi r and this is the h. The breadth is the height, length is the circular perimeter. Okay, 2 pi r, this is also 2 pi r, and what you know the area of the circle pi r square, perimeter is to 2 pi r. Okay. So, in this way, this circular form, this, this circular cylinder, right circular cylinder is formed in this way. This is, okay. The, you will rotate in this way, particular center. Okay. So, if you want to find out the surface area, first say curved surface area. Curved surface area, what will be the curved surface area of the right circular cylinder? Then you have to find out the total surface area of the circular cylinder. See out here, you have to know this how this cylinder is formed from this way. Okay. So, curved surface area, what we told earlier, this is the what? 2 pi r and this is the h height, the breadth, the 2 pi r h. Curve surface area 2 pi r h out here C S A. Curve surface area then what will be how? That is the perimeter 2 pi r h. Okay? Perimeter into height, perimeter into height, curved surface area, but lateral surface area, clear? 2 pi r h, curved surface area or lateral surface area, 2 pi r, this is the what? Perimeter and height, h, 2 pi r h. If you want to find out the total surface area, that is curved surface area plus upper circular area and lower circular area clear the upper circular area when circle is pi r square plus pi r square clear pi r square plus pi r square clear. So, this is given to pi r h 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square. Okay, get common 2 pi r, 2 pi r, 2 pi r common h plus r, clear, 2 pi r into r plus h by h plus r, clear, 2 pi r 
into h plus r. This is the square unit. Same thing, this is also square unit to pi r h cut surface area. That is the this one perimeter into height and this is 2 pi r into h plus r. You will remember this and how it is come in this. It has come from here. This is a curved surface area, total surface area. Clear? Okay. Now come to the volume. Clear? Bacho? Clear? Okay. So write it down. So just just get the concept, just grasp the concept and get the idea, nothing else. How you have to find out the surface area and you will have to give some example, the pillar in the building, pillar is there, this is the, if the, this is the pillar out there. So in that case, the lower surface area is not required, upper surface area is not there if there is the roof out there. So, only curved surface area is there, this one. In the in case of pillar of building, so you have to paint, how, how uh, question will come, find the total number of, uh, to, uh, find the uh, total cost to uh, paint the circular pillar whose length or uh, radius will be given, height will be given, it means how, height out here, okay. So, in that case, you have to find out. So, very cautiously to just guess the idea of what is given and what you have to do, cut surface area or total surface area. In some, in some cases, only base will be out or both time both the base will be cancel out, which is not out of consideration, it is out of consideration, only cut surface area will be considered. So, mind it. Next come to the volume volume of the right circular cylinder, how to find out the volume, okay. See, suppose this right circle, but here it is not possible to give out here. Uh, in this way, stack some circular seats and number of seats, whatever you will give will be the height and this will be same each other and this is the give the height and this is the base circular base. In this case, you have to find out the volume. Suppose out there some circular coin I am given out here C. I am given the circular coin, each and every coin I am stacking out here. Yes, yes, okay, this. So, here out is, can you see the circular cylinder that okay, one by one I am adding, I am adding the circular face and this is the height. If I withdraw some of the coins, the height will be less, if I withdraw this, height will be less, so this will be the height, some same, it will be out, okay. So, this is the right circular cylinder. If we tilted this, just not in a perpendicular manner, the axis are different, in this case, this is not a right circular cylinder, okay. So, this will be the height. So, you have to find out the volume. What is the volume? So, see out here. This is, what is the volume out there, okay, volume pi r square is, that is the, the, the base area, area of the base, the area of the base means circular base pi r square, pi r square into height, this is the volume, this is the volume, this is the volume. pi r square h, pi r square h, okay, pi r square h, clear, it is cubic, uh, that is, this is cos, cos centimeter into centimeter, so cubic centimeter, volume means always, and area always square centimeter, square meter, square unit, okay. So, some examples I am giving, formula is clear, if any doubts, 
okay call me okay in a cylinder the height is given the and the radius is given so how many uh, find the uh, volume of gas inside the cylinder so you have to find out the volume pi r square h r is given h is given pi is 22 always remember pi is 22 by 7 pi out 22 by 7 there are so many history regarding this so not required this time you class 10 or 11 you also know pi 22 by 7 approx okay for one four point one three point one four one okay as a this value you have to put out here in your sums clear so I am coming the area surface area or total surface area or curved surface area examples also come right circular cylinder or given examples suppose the circular the radius r equals to 4 centimeter okay height h equals to 12 centimeter okay this is the right circular cylinder whose radius is 4 centimeter and height is 12 centimeter okay so this is full of gases so from this gas you have to fill some cylinder whose radius 0 0.5 centimeter whose height equals to 2 centimeter okay this is the some small cylinders are there from these cylinders you have to insert or fill the gas to this cylinder so number of cylinders you have to find out the how many number of cylinders will fill from this large cylinders same process just previous the you have to find out the volume of this and you have to find out the volume of this so this volume by this volume number of cylinder can be filled from this to this equals to volume of the this cylinder and volume of this cylinder. you have to divide as it is very low slow the small this large it has high volume high volume of gas it is occupied it, has, it will occupy less volume of gas so number will be the volume of this by volume of this okay in this way this is come and i also told about the surface area if you have to find out the surface area but note it the which surface area curved surface area or total surface area you have to find out very very um, important point so clearly concept you should have to be clear uh, which area i have to find out okay so uh, now the just i have discussed about the formula of uh, different things so do practice uh, from your books and i will next class i will uh, do uh, some extra questions or which will be tough enough and i will solve this in the class so next day i will discuss all things okay goodbye okay good night Thank you.